Oh, what is going on YouTube? This is Delta back with another Call of Duty mobile video where today I'm going to be giving you all the best class setup and tips and tricks for the BK-57 assault rifle. This gun has seen some major spike increase in the usage rates over the course of the last ranked season and the battle pass, but I'm going to review it for you all. And if you didn't know Hawk's Nest, he is a really famous Call of Duty mobile YouTuber. He actually puts this assault rifle at the top of his assault rifles list for both medium and close range assault rifles. So you can imagine how good it is. He did a lot of testing and he is a credible source of information for Call of Duty. So let's get started. So if you do enjoy this video, please do leave a like. Make sure to subscribe if you're new. Share the video with your friend if you thought it was cool. And let me uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you want to see next. Other than that, without further ado, let's get right into the video. Alright guys, so here is my class setup for the BK-57. I like to use the Evil Chip because it is a super cool skin. Now, let me go over my class setup. It's not like a lot of my ARs, I have to admit. For the scope, I like to use the Red Dot Sight. I always run at Quick Drop because I use fast, uh, or I use uh, Lightweight instead of Agile, so you always want to use Quick Drop. I like to use the Laser Sight because when I'm hip firing, I need a tighter spread to hit more of my shots. And instead of the vertical foregrip, or the foregrip as they call it in this game, I switched it up for stock because you do not actually need foregrip on this, on the BK-57. The recoil only goes uh, vertically, and there's not a lot of horizontal recoil, so all you have to do is drag down to compensate for that recoil. You can run any, you can run any secondary, but just don't run a knife because you already have a dedicated knife button. You do not need to have a knife in your class. You can run SMRS. J358. I don't know why people are running the FHJ or the MW11 is also a good choice. For my operator, I, you can use anything because it doesn't matter about making sure its strengths match up with the primary weapon. Just pick whatever you want. I like to run the War Machine. I use the regular Lethal Frag Grenade and Trophy System. I use Lightweight because I like being able to run super fast. However, you can also use Skulker to increase your ADS movement speed. Also, Toughness is really good because the recoil you get from not having toughness on is really weird. So I like to run toughness to compensate for that. Uh, Ghost is also good too, but toughness is probably your go-to. And Dead Silence because it is the best blue perk in the game. No matter what, nobody can hear your footsteps, so why not run it? Now, that is it for the class setup. Now let's move on to the tips and tricks. Alright, so now let's get right into the tips and tricks. The first one is go for headshots. This gun has a 1.2 times headshot multiplier, so headshots will actually do more damage than body shots. However, if your accuracy isn't the best, then it's always better to focus on hitting your shots instead. And the next tip is that this gun is really versatile at all ranges. So you can either play aggressively or passively. By aggressively, you can push enemy spawns, and passively because it has a good range, which means you can actually deal good damage to enemies who are far away, so you can camp somewhere with the trophy system. The third tip is due to its fast fire rate, the BK-57 can actually be used to push aggressively to play something like a slayer role during hardpoint where you don't focus on the objective, but you actually try and kill enemies, or you can clear out opponents from a specific area, also being aggressive, but yeah, this gun can be used to play an aggressive slayer role. That is it for today's video. If you did enjoy it, please do leave a like. Make sure to subscribe if you're brand new. Share the video with a friend if you thought it was useful. And leave a comment. Let me know what video you would like to see next. Anyway, that's, that is it for this video. This is Delta signing off and enjoy the rest of the gameplay.